memories. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the table. You don't get more unreliable narrator than me. <laughs> it's my thing. And the collateral damage. <laughs> oh, but don't worry about that. Ah, I remember you invading like it was yesterday. Heroes and villains working together. Imagine me being one of humanity's last defenders. <laughs> what a gas! Oh, that's right. You, um, don't have a sense of humor. If only the others had listened! I had big plans for us going out with a bang! But you know what they say about good intentions. You can't kill them all! <laughs> oh, 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 that's when we first met! Oh, we could have been pals, shared torture tips. But you, you ruined my Earth! That's my modus operandi! I hate being upstaged. So if you thought you could keep this very active pathological imagination in a jar, think again! Then, I discovered you've been giving my Earth a makeover. What's a place like this doing in a guy like me? Well, I'll pick your brain about it sometime. Ice pick! <laughs> No, absolutely not. Looks like Brainiac's collecting trophies, because he's still got the Joker from that Earth in stasis. I can already feel the train wreck. You'll breach the defenses of this new world, take down the Brainiac iterations, and recruit Joker as an asset. You Jokers are bad enough, but the Joker? This isn't a debate. Consider yourselves briefed and get to work. Yes, Director Amanda Waller. Right away, Director Amanda Waller. You ought to do something about this heap of care packages. Fresh Brainiac weapons in the city. A newly breached and very concerning dimension. We have our work cut out for us, Task Force X. Some more than others. The city is chock full of... This world. Well, well, I'm impressed. I want to see more of this, Task Force X. Now proceed to your next objective. Difficult, reckless, <laughs> perfect. Task Force X. You'll find I guard my anomaly collection quite jealously, including this world's Joker. Let's say. This evil shall not escape my sight. The deployment is in order. 
I'm picturing your defeat, Task Force X. And where there's a will, there's a way. Defeat! That's quite enough playing with dreams. Let's bring this screaming back to reality. Okay, I like to think I'm hot, but not like this. Gotta dance! Why do you want Shattered and scattered. I see the DNA. It's mine. Tests were only ah. Ah. multiple anomalies are always so vex. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> Shoot these guys here? Aw, oh, okay, that's on me. Oh, Christ. Mandy, oh. baby! Is that you? Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. Shut I... it! It was a gamble adding you to this Task Force X, and I'm sick of your bullshit already. <laughs> so I guess you'll fit right in. Keep him in line. Put it in me. Oh, mate, bloody hell! Now you've just made it weird. <sighs> How? Hell no! Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. Come on, dead shot! Ah, uh, Sharko, you want to have a go this time? Uh, my hands are too large. We sure about this, Director? <laughs> oh, this brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Ah, here we go. They're all dead. <sighs> what a tragedy. What a heartbreaker. The sprays of blood, the smell of singed hair, the viscera. Oh, the viscera. I'd definitely do it differently this time around. Cleaner. Well, congratulations, Task Force X. It took you all of 20 seconds to lose control of them. Hey, hey, hey! Don't misunderstand me here. <sighs> I killed my team because I truly cared about them. And even though I've only just gotten to know you guys, I care about you that much, too. Colonel Flagg, lock him up. For the record, I hate this. Oh, is it too much? Making new friends after a move is always tough. Oh, this is much more accommodating than other cells I've been in. Is that real, Cinderblock? Five stars. If you need a break, I'm your man. If you don't, I still am. Please, somebody use me. Hey, pal. Thoughts, feelings. Let's talk this out. I don't need your validation, but it sure would be nice. You eyeing me or the bed? Either way, I love the intensity. Come on, 
Don't leave your best weapon locked away. In case of alien emergency, break glass! It might look like I've only got one leg, but you should see all the ones I've got buried in my yard. Hey, do you know how to get blood out of spats? Asking for... a friend. Anytime you want to switch out, you just let me know. I even warmed up the cot for you. Don't ask how. You know, back home, I'm more than just a murderer. I'm a mass murderer. You know what the team needs? A hundred percent more Joker. And 10% more iron. You eyeing me or the bed? Either way, I love the intensity. You keep your distance from Quinn, Joker. She's got enough to handle already. I swear, any funny business, and I'm gonna start throwing punks into portals. Back off, all right? Whew, okay. You're not THE Joker, but you're A Joker. Things are probably very different on your Earth, right? Like, oh, oh no. If your nemesis was Toy Man, dressed up like a toy, had a toy signal, that kind of thing. I swear, that's a, that's a coincidence. We're on the same side here. Hey, clown. You might have some of these other assholes scared with your whole crazy act. <laughs> But if you want to see crazy, just start something. I'll show you crazy. Mr. Joker, we're not going to have any problems, are we? Uh, now what? This guy's come to test his laughing gas formula on me? Go ahead. I don't care. And now, I wish to contemplate more than your surface world concerns. I have nothing more to say. For now. I don't like the sight of you one bit. You got that in common with the old Joker. Oh, you look scary as hell, Joker. I dig it. I know your rep, pal, whatever dimension you're from. You got a boner for mass murder. So, uh, we gonna have a problem? Mr. Joker, sir, whatever you need. My goal is to discover an Earth that doesn't have a Joker on it. I'd held out hope that Waller might change her mind, but she seems set on adding a new Joker to her collection. Hack's interdimensional location skills are most impressive, but Joker Earth, must we? Oh, I was expecting the Joker. Oh, the patient behind the 150 page medical record. <sighs> Gosh, look at you, Mr. Joker. You remind me of growing up with carnival folks. Good, decent people. A lot of missing fingers and teeth. Welcome to Task Force X, Joker. I've got two rules. You do as I say, and you don't try to kill your teammates. Unless I say. Go on, get out there. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. Is, but it wasn't enough to defeat asylum. Batman. We had to make do with Barkham Asylum. And it was only for dogs. Bad dogs. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We had the asylum, and boy, it got juicy in there. Harley Quinn, once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. If she was just the sidekick, your Joker's getup must have been skimpy. Me? I don't lace my corset that tight. Need room to laugh. The Two-Face, Penguin, Ra's al Ghul, even the Joker. Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. A tragic irony. <laughs> Just to be clear, they turned Gotham's low-income neighborhoods into a privately owned prison state. And it didn't work. <sighs> well, there goes my pitch for mayor. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the Maniac if he could, 
but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. Wow. This is very existential for me. I always wondered what I'd look like dead. Answer? Waxy. My Batman never held me like that. Maybe I went overboard on the chloroform? Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I love this take on Deadshot. Very problematic. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city. But at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. Scarecrow? Where I come from, something like this would be considered tasteless. Whereas here, it's for kids. <laughs> Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. Huh. Don't know this guy, but he's got a real face for crowbars. The Demon Bat. Terror of Gotham's criminals. But let me ask you... Would the events you've witnessed not drive any man to a place of darkness? See, what I like is, he could have called himself Money Man, but he went with Bat. And that's a choice. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned. Drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues. Far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Wow, they're just like us. I'd blow him right up if I could. <laughs> Wait, that's it? No more backstory? No more jingles? Tell me there's a gift shop. I want a pressed penny. Mandy, 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 quel surprise. I thought I'd never see you like this again. Like what, Joker? You're with your inside, still on the inside. You know how hard it is to get stomach bile out of a sport coat? <laughs> oh, which reminds me, does this joint do dry cleaning, or...? Cut the shit, I've heard it all before. You mean one psychotic bottom-feeding thug in face paint? You've met them all. And did you know the old me? We were never introduced. Suppose that's what my fashionable tardiness gets me. Here, from the coroner's report. Go on, take a good look. He was a mass-murdering psychopath with a mug like spoiled meat. He poisoned Gotham City, then himself. Oh yeah, he got what was coming to him. Good lord, he's... he was so... old! Blah! That's your takeaway? You do have sunscreen on this earth, right? Those crow's feet aren't giving me hope. You don't play ball. We've got an entire wing at my new Arkham, specially made for pacifying clowns like you. <laughs> Sounds like it worked great on the last guy. Oh, I can't wait for this world to get a load of its new Joker. So many smiling faces to meet. And all thanks to you, Mandy. Don't think you can scare me, clown. One button press and I do what Batman never could. Solve this Earth's Joker problem for good. That's a promise. Ugh, I got chafed wrists like you wouldn't believe. You mind loosening the old friendship bracelets, big guy? This is a mistake. I don't know what the director's thinking, bringing a goddamn Joker into this mess. Say, what are we thinking for lunch? Sushi? You have that here? Richard, you're gonna love what I can do with chopsticks. Wink. Can it, Chuckles? You know, half the troops in the hall knew someone murked by Joker. I bet they just love to get their mitts on you. Ooh, don't threaten me with a good time, soldier boy. 
Joker was terrorist scum. Worst of the worst. The world's better off with him in the dirt. And if you think I won't bury you with him... I'm detecting some aggression here, Flatfoot. But if you were gonna kill me, you'd have done it already. Squad's got bigger fish to fry. And if keeping you alive means keeping them alive, I can keep it in the holster. For now. Colonel Flag! Is that affection for your squad I'm detecting? No, oh, I knew there was a gooey center underneath all that bluster and body armor. Usually I have to work a little harder to get it, but... <laughs> Mandy, dearest, welcome back! I just adore this whole musical interrogations bit. What a hoot! Clock's ticking, Joker. Start shooting straight. What really happened to your last squad? Like, emotionally? Hurt people hurt people, Mandy. Not like I need to tell you that. Reports peg you as last clown standing. You see, that smells like a double cross to me. More Semtex and charred entrails. <laughs> you know how far a human head can fly with enough explosive force? So you're sticking to the story that you murdered your team? Doing Brainiac's dirty work for him? My dirty work is mine and mine alone! See, where I come from, we take ride or die pretty literally. Well, you're on my world. And I'm the one who decides when and how Task Force X lives or dies. You really think you're something special, don't you? But I see right through you. You and your whole shtick. The hair, the fancy clothes, the swagger. Get this through your pointy little skull. I'm the guy that decides what goes up. And where it comes down. Duly noted, Mr. Up, Down, Back, Around Guy, sir. I'll get that in my Rolodex right away. Quick question! What exactly makes you think I'm your problem child? I've met you before. I've met a thousand psychos like you. And every single one of them was a pain in my ass. I see. Well, I look forward to changing your mind, Mr. Flag, sir. Oh, P.S., how is your ass doing these days? Oh, you want to get up in my business, huh? I can get personal. What's the spill on you and the other clown, huh? She and the last Joker had Kamish Gordon smoking two at a time. The Shrink? Strictly co-workers, just like you and I. But hey, look at the bright side. You've got a wide open net, and I think I might be strong enough to love again. The stars are aligning. Do you feel it, Rick? You're gonna be feeling something in a minute, you little... <clears throat> You're gonna have to work harder than that. You're below my rank. And I'm out of your league. So, you kill your squad to save them from Brainiac. Then Brainiac turns around and remakes Earth in your image. I don't buy it. Make it make sense, Joker. You still think I'm in cahoots with the big, bulbous brain? Well, let's run it down. There was the kidnapping, creative torture techniques, scrambling my DNA like stir-fry. Oh, hmm. I guess he did share my love language. Stop wasting my time. Oh, relax. Old Brainy don't trust anyone he can't control like an ill-fitting finger puppet. Least of all, yours truly. So then why turn an entire world into a monument for your phony pratfallen ass? You think that tacky sideshow was my idea? Darling, I'm a psychopath, not an egomaniac. Where's the subtlety, the wit, the measured panache? When everything's a punchline, the joke just isn't funny anymore. Hmm, why the long face, Flagpole? Don't you look forward to our little tete a -tets? I've always had a soft spot for you, Ricky boy. Well, not you, you, but you get it. So, hit me! Uh, with questions? Fine. So, you're amiable with Harley. Nothing more, nothing less. I'll buy it for now. 
You playing nice with Boomerang? Oh, I just adore that wily little marsupial. <laughs> Boomerangs. All these Black Ops play things in the toy box, and he goes with Boomerangs. <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Not a big fan of eye contact, though. Or showers. And shark. Hmm? Stay away. He doesn't need your hooks in him. Sharky, what a gas. I tell you, they don't make them like that back home. Would you believe fish don't wear jeans on my earth? <laughs> Wild, right? So what about Deadshot, huh? Lawton's kind of the uh, ringmaster of your little circus. Oh, old Floydies, like the soldier of fortune father I never had. Or maybe it's just that nostalgic smell of bullet casings and aftershave. Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, yeah, you're one big happy family. All that matters to me is you keep each other alive out there. Just keep in mind, you might all be expendable assets to Argus, but none more than you. Oh, if it isn't my second favorite Mandy! You simply can't stay away from me, can you? As much as I enjoy dancing around it, and believe me, I'm a wonderful dancer, should we address the interdimensional elephant in the room? What's that, Joker? Why I don't toss your chalky ass back to the condemned carnival you crawled out of? No. What happened to my first favorite Mandy? Aren't you the least bit curious? Oh, I tell you, if my wall could talk... Well, it'd be awful impressive, for starters. I, I swear I've got her voice box around here somewhere. Uh, check my pockets? Irrelevant. All I need to know about her is where she went wrong. And if I had my guess, it had something to do with recruiting a ticking time bomb like you. Gasp! Character assassination! And believe me, I know a thing or two about assassination. But I'll drop a spoiler for you, new old friend. On my Earth... You didn't make it past this part. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, well, that's a punchline I haven't cracked yet. Run of show. Brainiac invades, corrupts the League, we send a squad, squad goes ass up, Brainiac gets Earth, and we get stuck with you. Am I missing anything? Well, you're really glossing over the friendships we made along the way. You were locked up on the Skull Ship. You must have seen something we can use. Something to make your squad sacrifice worth a damn. It's not so much what I saw, but what I smelled. Explain. Flop sweat, chum. Perspiration prickling on a big, brainy melon. Any comic worth his salt has a nose for it, and I could just smell it. That intoxicating musk of fear. So you think Brainiac's afraid? Of what? Bombing, obviously. This whole invasion deal. It's like he's workshopping a gag, running it over and over again, constantly adjusting the routine, tweaking each beat until he gets it just right. And it's not going according to plan this time. Yep. See, Brainiac's a lot of things, man's. But take it from me, he's a pretty shitty improviser.